Hello, my name is Yinka and I am a radio presenter on Capital Extra and this is my pink parcel period talk. It's either between half an hour or a day before I'll get the little cramps and like, I'll find myself being really moody and I'll think that I'm super fat for no reason because I didn't think I was fat 10 minutes ago. And then after like brooding and eating lots of food, I'm like, oh, I'm coming my period, that's what it is. It's bread. I love, and the thing is that like makes you swell anyway, like it bloats you. But I don't know, like there's, it's like I become like the cookie monster when I'm on my period. Like it's, it's, cause I can be so good and I'll work out and I'll eat really healthily and I'll be like, green is clean, yeah. And then the second I feel a cramp, I'm like, do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna have ice cream on toast. Like ridiculous things. I don't want to mistake hunger pains for cramps now, do I? That's my excuse. I am 100% a tampon girl. Uh, I think, I don't really like wearing pads simply because I feel like I'm wearing a nappy and it stresses me out. And also, this might be get, take, taking it too far, yeah, but I feel like I get nappy rash whenever I wear, whenever I wear pads. The thing is, I started my period really late, really late. I was 16 when I started my period, I was already in college. And so I thought that I was gonna live my life just not having one. I had accepted it, I was happy. I remember I was sitting in, um, I think it was, yeah, it was, it, it was in statistical maths A-level class, right? And I was sitting there and I was like, I thought I was sweating and I wasn't sweating. That's basically what happened. And then I waited for the whole class to, to leave and then I just took the chair with me. Toilet. So I was walking down the corridors, holding this chair like a little snail. I was so embarrassed. And then I like, yeah, I ended up like washing the chair as well. Like, it, was, it was just, uh, it was ridiculous. The teacher didn't even question me. She just looked at me. Like, just like... <laughs> the at different times of the month, I think I look completely different. And I don't know if this is just like me being subjective and looking in the mirror, but you know, like the day before my period, my boobs are huge, huge, and they're quite big anyway. So they're huge and like my, I'm so bloated and I, you know, I even feel like my skin just feels like really tender and stuff. And then when I, when I come off and I'm not on anymore, I'm, I, I feel like I could be Kate Moss, like I'm slender and I'm just like spinning around everywhere. So it, it has a huge impact. I try not to live my life around it because, you know, there were three other weeks to the month, but it definitely sort of changes the way that I feel about myself. Coming on my period, I get my, it goes really dry. I don't, I don't know if that's just me or, or I'm not entirely sure why it happens. Because I don't really get like it breakouts or anything like that, but it's more like blemishes that will happen when I'm um, when I'm on. And also, I get like super dark circles under my eyes and stuff that like concealer is my best friend. When I am on my period, I, everything just feels like it's just a bit tight. Like even if I've got something that cuffs in at the ankle, I just feel like I can see the ridges of it. Like even my ankles are swollen, I don't know why. So my fashion definitely changes when I'm, when I'm on. Like I don't really wear bras that much anyway, but I have to today because this top is see and it'd be inappropriate. But, um, <laughs> but like I, it would be like a bit sore. So I tend to try and like wear, yeah, maybe like baggy things so that if I do feel like I look a bit bloated or something, it isn't, I don't feel like people are staring at my stomach while they're talking to me. I think just so that you know that you're not bleeding to death would be great. And also, it's almost as if, it's like, like you know when they used to call it like the curse or something? It's almost like you're validating that title because if you don't speak about it, then you're, it's like, oh, you're ashamed, almost. And there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's, this is just, this is just the way that we're made. I remember I had a, had an ex-boyfriend and um, this is one of the days where it caught me that just like five minutes or ten minutes before I was gonna gonna come on and like he wouldn't go to the toilet and buy me tampons because he was too embarrassed. So I said to him like what, what do you want me to do? Like, what, I don't understand. Should I just live here on the toilet? But this is this is my house now. I'm just gonna wait for four days and like he was too embarrassed to go to the to go to the shop. Whereas if you talk about periods to your sons and your brothers and, and all this um, that all those that the guys in your life then they'll, they'll go shopping, because my brother will go, he'll get the wrong thing, but it's the, he, he cares. I had to cancel um, a job because of my cramps, but now, like, now it was, it was, I think it was like a year ago or something, but the reason that it happened was because I used to be on the pill, 
and but I didn't realise that it took away a lot of the pain as well. When I stopped the pill, maybe like two months later, I, I thought I was going to die. It was the last day of wireless and I was meant to interview people and I, I literally couldn't get up and get out of the house. Like I threw up, like my head was spinning, like I, the, cramps, the cramps were so bad. I swear by like, like hot water bottles, like honestly, like it doesn't matter how many painkillers you take, right? A hot bath or a hot water bottle is, I just think that it's, a, it's an amazing thing. Like God bless the person who told me about that. I can't remember who it was now, but thank you so much.